Uh, John, if I could start by asking you, in general terms, how do you feel about um, what's going on in your august organization? <laughs> Well, I mean, I've, I've, I've worked for it for 41 years, so I've, I've been here before. Um, the BBC swings uh, uh, habitually from um, expansion beyond its means to contraction to below its means, and always uh, there's a, a kind of balance that, that it reaches eventually, and I, I, I assume that what we lose we will eventually regain. I, I don't think it's a, a savage, as savage as, as I was afraid it, it would be. Um, that's not necessarily, that's only because I know what's happening in my particular area, um, which uh, foreign, foreign use, which I don't think, apart from uh, the loss of some jobs, which is depressing, um, I don't think the, the coverage and the, the scope is going to suffer. And sometimes, you know, you can actually, by making uh, rational, by rationalizing things, you can actually sometimes improve the, the quality of what you're, what you're doing. I just, I mean, I'm deeply depressed in the longer run about why, we've ha why we're having these cuts. I mean, I've, I've, I see it, uh, I, I can't adduce any evidence for it, but I see it as, as, as part of the, the punishment that the last government decided to impose on the BBC for uh, daring to uh, criticize the, the whole issue of, uh, of weapons of mass destruction, whether rightly or, or, or wrongly, uh, rightly as, as, as it turned out. And I think that is part of what we're seeing still. And I, I think also um, uh, there's a, a, a real savage uh, threat now to the, to the future of the BBC. Uh, which will come, uh, I'm certain, that the next time we have a, uh, a, f a punch up with the government of the day, whoever that may be, because as I'm sure most people here know, this is not a, something that we don't, we don't just get walloped from one side of the house. Uh, we, we, uh, uh, we, we're, we're always having rows of the government of the day, and we always have had, and I'm not sure it's such a terribly bad thing, but unfortunately, the Blair government, knowingly or unknowingly, I think stumbled on the best way to, to, to damage the BBC, which is, of course, through the license fee. And I suspect that the next time that anything of this kind happens, uh, we'll, we'll find the government saying, um, we're interested in quality of broadcasting right across the spectrum, not just from the BBC. We want better programs from Channel 5, Channel 4, the, uh, channel, uh, the, the ITV uh, 1 and 2, and therefore, uh, it probably is a good idea to hand some of the license fees to them, because it's not just for the BBC, it's for making good programs. And uh, although that might sound attractive, it is definitely the, the, the start of, of a, a real savage um, uh, decline for the BBC. Uh, the kind of decline that we've seen in other countries, uh, with uh, CBC in Canada, uh, ABC in Australia, uh, half a dozen other um, uh, outfits in Commonwealth countries um, where the government of the day either irritated or, or not able to, uh, to, not willing to fund the, the broadcaster uh, sufficiently just simply says, well, we'll assume you're going to get X amount from advertising or sales or whatever, so we'll set your, uh, your uh, license fee at a smaller rate than you've been getting. And although I've got great admiration uh, for CBC and, and ABC Australia, and I like watching their programs when I'm there, you are never in any doubt that this is a niche broadcaster broadcasting to a relatively small number of, of, of people, and that they've lost that sense of being the national broadcaster, which the BBC mm. still has.